So you want to steal the very fabric of reality. Okay. Step one, go to hdriheaven.com. Look at all this reality. It's so real and crisp and detailed and natural. Let's steal it. Download the HDRI and set it up as your environment texture. Now select your camera and press Alt-G and Alt-R to clear rotation and location. Now select your default cube. Navigate to Object and Viewport Display and Display as Wire. Set your viewport to Material Preview and then check the box that says Scene World. Now for the fun part. Using the camera view and the camera view only, match the geometry of the scene. The complexity of this part will depend on the kind of texture you chose. If you chose something easy, like a room, you can just scale it up, line the corners up, and then fine tune later. A few moments later. And now you have the geometry of how this HDRI would look like if you were there. But that doesn't help us, because that's not reality yet. Yet. Because now it's time for step 3. Use the same HDRI to texture your mesh. That one looks complicated, but that's actually the easiest part. You think you'd need something like two days and a whole bunch of vector math nodes to figure that one out? <coughs> CG matter. <coughs> but there's this handy dandy environment texture node that does that automatically for you. So in the shader editor, just bring in your HDRI as an environment texture instead of a normal image texture and plug it in into the color. To map it, you can use just the mapping node plus this geometry node right here. You can't use the texture coordinates because it doesn't work for some reason. So you just shift A, input, geometry, and use the position coordinates and plug that in and everything should work out. Remember that if you messed with the rotation of your HDRI on the world settings right on the beginning, you should match the exact rotation, just copy and paste it on this node right here, and that should be exactly aligned with the world HDRI. If your texture is still not aligned, that means your origin point is probably not in the center of the world, so just press Shift S or Shift C to move the cursor to the center of the world or the world origin. Select all the objects that you want to texture with the HDRI and just go to Object, Set Origin and Origin to 3D Cursor. That should center all the origin points into the center of the world and then the HDRI will map from the origins. One thing you're gonna notice right away is that this is a projection, so things that occlude other things will be projected on the walls behind here behind themselves and to fix that you can use texture painting on blender or you can use gimp or krita or photoshop or whatever to just clone brush your way out of this situation and that's it that's how you steal reality in my opinion that's just a very interesting way of starting your scene because you start with almost something that's 100% real. It's like you got a photo scan out of a single photo and that's, you know, with less memory issues and whatever and way less time wasted. You just started with something that is already real because it's a real place and if you do your job right with the reconstructions of these places and stuff and just throw a bunch of cool assets on top, people won't even notice. Like, I used this on this video, this video and the animation in the beginning and I'm thinking of using the same thing on the Tsunami tutorial because there's this cool CD HDRI right here that I can steal. Here's a sneak peek, by the way. Yeah! <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, I'm sorry YouTube recommended it is. But hey, if you found it even remotely entertaining, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe, because yeah, <laughs> Tsunami is coming someday. <laughs> Bye!